Hello Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. How would you get the list of all SQL Server agent jobs and disable enable them if you need to. So let's go to SSMS and take a look. What we have here uh, SQL Server provide, of, provide us uh, some system databases. Uh, one of the databases is called MSDB. That's where uh, we will have the information uh, for uh, the jobs, schedules uh, and etc. So here what I have, I'm using this database and I'm reading uh, some information from a system table called SysJobs. So this table will provide me information for all the SQL Server agent jobs I have on this SQL Server instance. So let me go to the jobs and show you. I have three jobs here, load data to the test database and two others. So you can see the names of them as well. Here you can see them either they are disable or enable. One shows they are enable. If they are zero here, then you will see them disable. Now, you, if you would like to uh, read the description about them, you can read the description here. And then uh, you have a, a starting step from where the job is starting. Uh, if it is uh, starting from one, it will show you the very first one. And uh, if there are multiple steps in the job and uh, they will be starting from some other step, then you will see that step number there. Let's go to the next properties and it will show you owner uh, and then uh, some other information uh, it show you date created and date modified uh, the number of times uh, you will change or make a change in the job that will be coming as a version number so if I will go ahead and make change in this uh, job let's say in the description I, I am just putting a dot here and save it now it was it is 8 now if I will rerun it it should be 9 so that's how it will be same in the version number. So you can see that it is a nine here. Now, when come to disable the jobs, so the very first thing, if somebody want to disable the job, they will take on this, take a look on this table and say, uh, okay, this column, if I will update to zero, this should work fine. Now, let me show you what are the drawbacks by updating this one. I have a job here that runs every minute. So if you see, this is uh, just step one. This doesn't have a whole lot of things. It has only select one and it is a SQL statement. It's not doing anything. So go to the schedules here. And here we have a schedule that's uh, enable and that's occurring uh, every minute. So it occurs every minute and it's enable and uh, there is no end uh, date defined for this schedule. So and the, the job is running every minute so let's go back here right click and see the view, uh, history so the job uh, is running uh, and right now what we have uh, we have uh, seven records uh, so it has run seven times uh, now if i will go here and update this one to zero what happened right now it's a uh, nine uh, and, um, and, and nine o'clock and uh, nine minutes above nine so if i execute this one right now what i did i disable these all jobs so if i go here and check now all those columns i see enable is equal to zero so this job should be disabled now and if i refresh this one it is disabled it is showing us it is a disable so now we are going to wait for just another maybe 10 15 seconds and see what happened as we have disabled the job it should not run but that's not the case here so let me take a look on the history again so right now it has eight records so it did run again so uh, it didn't wait for um, uh, like okay you have disabled the jobs here in this table says jobs uh, you have disabled it but why the job is still running the job is running because the schedule it is using is not disabled. So if you go here and run your query, you will see here the schedule is enabled. So that's why our job is still running. So it runs every minute and the schedule is enabled. Even we have set the flag here or the column value to zero in the sys jobs table. Sorry for taking this time. I wanted to show you how exactly 
happen and sometime we disable all these jobs here you see now it is nine records so it is uh, running every minute it's not disabled correctly so now let me go back and enable this one and show you what is the right way to disable these jobs if uh, you really want to do this way you want to set this one to zero then you you should be going to the schedules sys schedules and uh, also disable the schedule that's that's one way to stop this job you know or disable this job so you have to do here as well as here to make this work but that might not be a good idea there is a store procedure provided to us that we can use to disable or enable the jobs in a correct way so if i will use uh, sp underscore update job this store procedure and uh, i can provide the job name and i can provide enable or disable and uh, right now i want to disable them and th this store procedure will disable them correctly so i'm going to generate the script to disable all the jobs here so i'm using this uh, uh, static values here and then providing the name of the job that's coming uh, from the table and the rest of that is also static here so i'm b building or creating a queries uh, to disable the jobs so let's run this one now I have the queries right here so I can copy them and paste them in the S window now I want to disable this very first job I'm gonna I'm not going to run all of them I'm, I'm going to disable only the very first one if I will execute this one this will go ahead and disable this job now it, by using this store procedure when we disable this job we do not have to worry about the schedule so if even uh, you will see the schedule if you will see the history here now it is 11 records and uh, now the time is 9 12 so now even uh, this in the schedules uh, you will still see the schedule is enabled but the job is not going to run when you done uh, when you will do um disable the job by using the sp update job store procedure so if i go here view history it is 11 and it is uh, the time has changed 9 13 but still uh, it is uh, 11 so it is not uh, running uh, anymore so this is uh, the way you can uh, correctly disable or enable your jobs if you need to enable all of them you can go here and uh, replace with the one recreate your scripts uh, and bring it here and paste them here so while you are migrating you uh, from one uh, server to another server you want to use these scripts uh, instead of uh, just updating the um, let me run this one only because that's the only job I have to enable so I enable the job now so let me refresh one more time so yeah don't uh, when you are migrating uh, your um, jobs or um, uh, databases to new server uh, or even sometime you have to disable for maintenance uh, don't go here in the sys jobs and uh, disable them and then if you really are interested to go ahead and check the schedules for all those jobs and disable the schedule as well thanks very much for watching this video and uh, these all scripts are going to be available on uh, sqla.blogspot.com I'm going to post them as well as they will be available in the description so thank you and see you in the next video